Agent Sixth, Overdose of Fumes. That sounds like it's in the garage. Thankfully, we found the uh, the air control or the air vent. So it's probably going to be an easy. Well, <laughs> don't want to say it's an easy kill before I actually may have managed to do it, but you know. I do not chew chew, I eat no real food, I follow your commands and honk when you do. Yeah, sounds a lot like the um, the garage. So maybe it's time to kill Will. The first, oh, the driver, I guess. Maybe, maybe we don't kill the only black person in the game. I thought that's weird, that's just that one. Yep, it's the driver. Sloth. Oh god. <clears throat> oh, hi Lucius. If you have some spare time, you can search for my band's cassette. I would, but I have to wait until your father gets here. I already gave you the cassette. Maybe we kill uh, yeah, Will at the uh... same time. All right. Well, um, it doesn't even say that have you seen that cassette around yet? Well, I know where it is, so we'll just we'll just go get that. The music has changed. Maybe that's because there's priests and shit coming. I don't know. Yoink. He might as well die happy, you know? Listening to his old band. Oh, by the way, there's a tape of my band lying around here. Shut up here. about the tape. I just gave it to you. you Turn up some music somehow. I need to get Will away from the garage. After all we've been through, isn't it nice to just relax and listen to some great music? Hello. Hello. Hey there, little dude. Little dude. Okay, one thing I have found on my um, on my trips, and I think I showed just slightly in a video, is this little plug here. You can use that there. And that does something out there. I mean, he's sort of a mechanic, so if we could, if we could get Will out with that. And again, the, um, <clears throat> the, the nail gun has been such a red herring for me this entire game. But now I try again. It's weird. The rocks are back in place. It might be for a different... I mean... Wait, I have the nail gun. Not sure what you're doing with that, Lucius. Yep. Still nothing. I'm not going to waste too much time on it. How can we get Will out of the garage? That's a cigarette from when McGuffin uh, was standing out smoking. That should probably have been gone by now, but you know. Okay, well last time we messed with the... Um, with the washing machine. So we might be able to do that again. Again. Well, that did the trick, obviously. Hello, son. Okay. Okay. He's now alone in the garage. There might be a way to get rid of him now. Hmm. Maybe we can start a car or something. Or an engine? Shh, listen. A rag? A dirty rag? You know, time passes a lot faster with music. Ha ha! Alright, alright. 
A rock wet, wet with finish. Okay, maybe we can... Yeah, weak-minded hippie. I have managed to pour paint thinner on a rag and Michael has faint, uh, fainted without Will noticing anything. I think I need to do something creative here. Oh, oh, there he goes. So, car. Yes, this will work. <clears throat> car on Earth! I know what to do. It seems that I can start the car with my mind without Will hearing it over the music. The fumes just aren't staying in. I need uh, to do something about that. I guess we don't kill Will. Yet. Hello. Hmm. Oh, come on. That's got to be it. Aha! And we'll just close the door. <laughs> Not really a very bloody kill, but... Hey there, Will. Finally, no more driving. And that was a pretty fast kill. No, sir. I didn't see anything. I was in the other room trying to fix the washer. When I came back, the car was running and he was lying on the floor. Let me get this straight. You were in the next room and didn't hear the car starting by itself. No, sir. I didn't hear anything over the music. I know how it sounds, but I swear I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, right. Well, you can explain that to the judge. I'm gonna go get the deputy here. So this is just to make sure you don't go do anything stupid. <laughs> Well, because he's like locked in a place now, we can just uh, maybe do the same. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, things are going my way. The detective actually thinks that Will had something to do with Michael's death. He's been cuffed to the shelf. I need to act quickly before the cops return. I can feel my powers getting stronger and stronger. It will not uh, matter anymore if he sees my true self. What? It will not matter anymore if he sees my... Oh, right. Yeah, he... Okay. <laughs> it's time to die, Will. Okay, well, combustion, I guess, because we, we have that. Have to regain your strength first. What? I have my strength. Why can't I combust you, dude? <clears throat> Fire starter. Well, maybe we can do it on that. No? Oh, ah. <laughs> no! Damn it. Can we just... Okay, so we can just do it from here. That's fine. I'm happy that they uh, they actually made a checkpoint for once. Oh. No. Say goodbye, Will. be really bad if the cops just walked in right now. I managed to slip out without them catching me. The cops are stupid. 
Well, I didn't really slip out. Yet. But I guess, you know, it's fine. Is that a smile, Lucius? Was that a smile? What the hell happened here? I left the room for like five seconds. Holy shit, is that Will? I just had coffee with him this morning. I can't take much more of this. We need to leave this godforsaken place. We are not going anywhere. Call the paramedics and let them know we have another body here. Yeah, the population of this house is uh, getting a little thin. Well, that's a pretty sight. Why are we still here? We should leave now. I'm not staying a minute longer inside this house. Nancy? I need you to be calm. I've called the priest for help. If they can't, no one can. You can't still seriously believe that a seven-year-old boy could be behind this. That's what I'm going to find out. In the meantime, stay away from Lucius. Listen, Charles, I'm going to wait for you in the garden with our son. If you don't show up, then we will leave without you. That thing is not our son, and I'm going to prove it to you. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? 